say YouTube, I kind of got the uh, camera, my phone clamped in a vice because my tripod is in the truck, which my wife has today because she took it to work to have an oil change done on it. Anyways, this recoils off that uh, seized up Home Light XL 130. Uh, I kind of have another 130 put together with parts from it and parts from another saw. But this thing is locked right up. So, I'm going to attempt to do a repair on it. Unless it's so seized up inside that it doesn't... Oh. Oh, that might have been easier than I thought. Might have really needed nothing, actually. But we're still going to take it apart because... This saw was like in a flood. And you can see corrosion on the back of the uh, pulley there. This one's still got the retaining ring and everything in there. You can see corrosion in there. <clears throat> so I might actually kind of cop out here and just... Uh... I'm not sure if I want to pop that all out. I can go awry sometimes. So let's just squeeze some WD-40 down there. Essentially, I just want the saw to be able to run properly. And obviously, the starter rope is messed up. Like, this thing's so corroded. Wow. This thing wants to sat outside a long ass time. So, first things first, we can get rid of this rope because this rope is garbage. Bastard. Okay. Yeah, it seems a little excessive. Uh, what do I have for rope now? That is a good question. Okay. I actually need to buy a whole new spool of rope, but I got the smaller stuff. This stuff's a little small for this saw, but it is what it is. It'll work, it'll do the job. It's like a dollar from China. Uh, that seems like a good amount. So after that, put that there. Give a little burny burn. I thought this was actually gonna be a lot more work. Um, one thing to note with these saws, uh, if I can find the part on hand. So this right here is a recoil spring for a Chinese saw, like the uh, Zenoa clones. And you can buy these for like a song and a dance. But what's cool about them is Well, I don't have to pull it out of the package, but they work in home lights and well they work in this series home light and the XL12 and they also work in uh, McCulloch 10 series. But they're super cheap. Like I know there's old stock proper ones for those saws, but cheap is always good. Okay, so it's uh, the best way to do this. <clears throat> That's the best way to do that. There's a little slot there so you can take maybe a little screwdriver. This one might be too big. Tuning screwdriver would work better. A little pick. Now this one's a little precision flat blade. You just push it up into that groove. In theory. Let's get started. I've seen a lot worse systems for holding. I don't like some of Pioneer's systems for uh, holding the uh, pulley on or the rope on. Okay, now, now I should cut that, and, cut that and fix that. I don't want to leave it like that. But yeah, that's a real good hack for the recoil springs using those Chinese ones because you can buy them like five at a time. And I think I bought five, and I think it was like. Shipped to my door like seven dollars Canadian, which is dirt cheap. 
Okay, now we get that. Tie your favorite knot. Use your granny knot. If I just loop it through twice. Actually, I'll just do once. Just once on here. I usually do it twice on the actual handle. Okay, so you get that in there. I'm just gonna. Now, uh, don't think I've trimmed that off. And plop this back in there. Down in the hole. Twist it till it engages the spring. So that's how it's supposed to work. There we go. Okay, and one last thing. This. Okay, I missed a step. So what you want to do before you do that? Just loop it around. You got this little notch, and put the rope through the notch. That's down. The screw back in there. So, not that this is actually lubricating, but if there's a little bit of crap in there, it might help loosen it up. Someone's gonna yell, like, "Oh, I should have cleaned out the whole thing." Yeah, well, whatever. This saw is actually probably gonna go on eBay. Because why not? Generate some income for other projects. Okay, let's get that to be a little tighter. Okay, and then you just grab that and you preload. How much preload? I don't know. Just go until you feel happy. And that's where I'm happy. So I'll just pop this through the hole again. See how much slack there is, how much it's going to take up. It's still binding up a bit. I have to loosen that off a bit. That's not how it's supposed to be, but there we go. It is what it is. These wear down and blah blah blah, yada yada yada. Okay, we're going to go with right about there. Take your favorite handle that you're going to use. Plop it through. Now this is where I do the kind of the double loop knot, double loop granny knot, custom custom knots by Kevin Custom Saws. And there we go. This feels like there could have been a little more tension on there, but that will do nicely. I just wish this was not all stupid. I actually wish I had some Loctite to put in there, but I don't, but I got some Moto Seal, which I'm going to just put a little bit of Moto Seal on the threads. Why? Because it will help lock it up a little bit. Not well, but better than nothing, right? Okay. Dab a Moto Seal. That's my Loctite. I had Loctite, but Loctite's expensive, and fortunately, because I'm a idiot and I leave things out, it tends to dry up on me, so I just tend not to buy it anymore, unless I have to. You can take something to work just a little bit from there if I had to, although I think we only have the red at the shop, which the red's no good. Okay, that's nice. Let's tweak a little more. See, already there, it's skin resistance. I don't like that. We'll just leave it as is, and then we're going to throw this on the saw, and hopefully it works well. Uh, the saw is running. It's hard to tune. I did pour it. I put the exhaust root really high, so that clutch could be partially bad, too. I don't know. The starter works. That's a good thing. Anyways, take her easy. Bye.